chapters fifty one through sixty of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter fifty one vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the theban recension in the turin papyrus an upright figure of the deceased forms the vignette text the chapter of not marching to be overthrown in the underworld the overseer of the palace new triumphant saith that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me let me not eat that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me is filth let me not eat it in the place of the sepulchral cakes which are offered unto the cause let me not be destroyed thereby let me not be compelled to take it into my hands and let me not be compelled to walk thereon in my sandals chapter fifty two vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the theban recension in the turin papyrus the deceased is seated on a chair and his left hand is stretched out over a table text the chapter of not eating filth in the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me let me not eat that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me is filth let me not eat it in the place of the sepulchral cakes which are offered unto the cause let it not light upon my body let me not be obliged to take it into my hands and let me not be obliged to walk thereon in my sandals what now wilt thou live upon in the presence of the gods let food come unto me from the place whither thou wilt bring food and let me live upon the seven loaves of bread which shall be brought as food before horus and upon the bread which is brought before thoth the gods shall say unto me what manner of food wouldst thou have given unto thee and i reply let me eat my food under the sycamore tree of my lady the goddess hathor and let my times be among the divine beings who have alighted thereon let me have the power to order my own fields in tatu and my own growing crops in anu let me live upon bread made of white barley and let my beer be made from red grain and may the persons of my father and mother be given unto me as guardians of my door and for the ordering of my territory let me be sound and strong let me have a large room and let me be able to sit wheresoever i please chapter fifty three vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the seban recension in the turin papyrus the deceased is seated on a chair with a table of offerings before him and his left hand with a bowl therein is stretched out over it text the chapter of not eating filth and of not drinking foul water in the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am the bull with two horns and i lead along the heavens i am the lord of the risings of the heavens the great illuminer who cometh forth out of flame the bestower of years the far extending one the double lion god and there hath been given to me the journey of the god of splendour Ku. that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me let me not eat let me not eat filth and let me not drink foul water and let me not be tripped up and fall in the underworld i am the lord of cakes in anu and my bread is in heaven with ra and my cakes are on the earth with the god seb for the sektet boat and the atet boat have brought them to me from the house of the great god who is in anu i have put away from me my associates and i have united myself to the boat of heaven 
i eat of what they the gods or the divine boatmen eat there i live upon what they live upon there and i eat of the cakes which are in the hall of the lord of sepulchral offerings i the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant chapter fifty four vignette the deceased arrayed in white and holding a sail symbolic of air in his left hand text the chapter of giving air to the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant in the underworld he saith hail thou god temu grant unto me the sweet breath which dwelleth in thy nostrils i am the egg which is in kenkenur the great cackler and i watch and guard that mighty thing which hath come into being and with which the god sev hath opened the earth i live and it liveth i become old i live and i snuff the air i am the god ucha abet the god who trieth hostility and i resolve behind to protect his egg i shine at the moment of horus the mighty god suti whose strength is twofold hail thou who makest sweet the seasons of the two earths thou dweller among techefau food thou dweller in the cerulean heights of heaven keep watch over the babe that dwelleth in his cot when he cometh forth to you chapter fifty five vignette the deceased holding a sail in each hand text the chapter of giving air in the underworld saith new triumphant i am the jackal of jackals i am shu and i draw air from the presence of the god of light khu to the bounds of heaven and to the bounds of earth and to the bounds of the uttermost limits of the flight literally feather of the neba bird may air be given unto these young divine beings chapter fifty six vignette the deceased holding in his hand a sail symbolic of air text the chapter of snuffing the air among the waters in the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith hail thou god tem grant thou unto me the sweet breath which dwelleth in thy nostrils i embrace that great throne which is in the city of hermopolis and i keep watch over the egg of ken ken ur great cackler i germinate as it germinateth i live as it liveth and my breath is its breath chapter fifty seven vignette the deceased standing in a stream of water and holding a sail in his left hand text the chapter of snuffing the air and of having the mastery over the water in the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith hail hapur god of heaven in thy name of divider of heaven grant thou unto me that i may have dominion over the water even as the goddess seket had power over osiris on the night of the storms and floods grant thou that i may have power over the divine princes who have their habitations in the place of the god of the inundation even as they have power over their own holy god of whose name they are ignorant and may they let me have power even as he hath let them have power my nostrils are opened in tatu or as others say my mouth and my nostrils are opened in tatu and i have my place of peace in anu which is my house it was built for me by the goddess sesheta and the god kanemu set it up for me upon its walls if to this heaven it cometh by the north i sit at the south if to this heaven it cometh by the south i sit at the north if to this heaven it cometh by the west i sit at the east 
and if to this heaven it cometh by the east i sit at the west i draw the hair of my nostrils and i make my way into every place in which i wish to sit in the papyrus of nefer uben f this chapter ends quite differently and reads i am strong in my mouth and in my nostrils for behold tem has established them behold o ye gods and khus rest thou then o tem behold the staff which blossometh and which cometh forth when a man crieth out in your names behold i am tem the tree of the gods in their visible forms let me not be turned back i am the am kent nefer uben f triumphant let neither my flesh nor my members be gashed with knives let me not be wounded by knives by you i have come i have been judged i have come forth therein i have power with my father the old man knew he hath granted that i may live he hath given strength unto me and he hath provided me with the inheritance of my father therein chapter fifty eight vignette ani and his wife thuthu standing in a pool of running water each holds a sail the symbol of air in the left hand and scoops up water to the mouth with the right hand on the edges of the pool are palm trees from the largest of which hang great clusters of dates text the chapter of breathing the air and of having dominion over the water in the underworld osiris ani saith open to me who art thou whither goest thou what is thy name i am one of you who are those with thee the two serpent goddesses murti separate thou from him head from head when thou goest into the divine meskin chamber he letteth me set out for the temple of the gods who have found their faces assembler of souls is the name of my boat making the hair to stand on end is the name of the oars goad is the name of the hold making straight for the middle is the name of the rudder likewise the boat is a type of my being borne onward in the pool let there be given unto me vessels of milk together with cakes and loaves of bread and cups of drink and flesh in the temple of anpu rubric if he the deceased knoweth this chapter he shall go into after coming forth from the underworld of the beautiful amentet chapter fifty nine vignette ani kneeling beside a pool of water wherein grows a sycamore tree in the tree appears the goddess nut pouring out water for him from a vessel with the right hand and giving him cakes with the left text the chapter of snuffing the air and of having dominion over the waters in the underworld osiris ani saith hail thou sycamore tree of the goddess nut grant thou to me of the water and of the air which dwell in thee i embrace the throne which is in unu hermopolis and i watch and the guard the egg of nekekur the great cackler it groweth i grow it liveth i live it snuffeth the air i snuff the air i the osiris ani in triumph chapter sixty vignette the deceased holding in his left hand a sail symbolic of air text another chapter osiris alf ankh triumphant saith let the gates of heaven be opened for me by the god thoth and by hapi and let me pass through the doors of ta queb into the great heaven or as others say at the time or as others say with the strength of ra grant ye o thoth and hapi that i may have power over the water even as set had power over his enemies on the day when there were storms and rain upon the earth let me have power over the divine beings who have mighty arms in their shoulders even as the god who is apparelled in splendour and whose name is unknown had power over them 
and may i have power over the beings whose arms are mighty end of chapters fifty one through sixty chapters sixty one through seventy of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter sixty one vignette the scribe ani clothed in white clasping to his breast his soul which is in the form of a human-headed hawk text the chapter of not letting the soul of a man be taken from him in the underworld osiris the scribe ani saith i even i am he who came forth from the water flood which i make to overflow and which becometh mighty as the river nile chapter sixty two vignette the deceased scooping up running water out of a stream into his mouth with both hands text the chapter of drinking water in the underworld the scribe nebseni saith may be open to me the mighty flood by osiris and may the abyss of water be open to me by tahuti hapi the lord of the horizon in my name of opener may there be granted to me mastery over the water courses as over the members of set i go forth into heaven i am the lion god ra i am the bull i have eaten the thigh and i have divided the carcass i have gone round about among the islands or lakes of sekhet aru indefinite time without beginning and without end hath been given to me i inherit eternity and everlastingness hath been bestowed upon me the last three chapters with a single vignette are grouped in one of the papyrus of nefer uben f but the order of them as there given is sixty one sixty sixty two in the turin papyrus the vignette of each is the same that is the deceased holding a sail in his left hand chapter sixty three a vignette the deceased drinking water from a running stream or the deceased kneeling by the side of a pool of water and receiving water in a bowl which he holds in his left hand from a vessel which the goddess of the sycamore tree nut is emptying into it in the turin papyrus the deceased is pouring out water from two vessels before the symbol of flame text the chapter of drinking water and of not being burnt by fire in the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith hail bull of amentet i am brought unto thee i am the oar of ra wherewith he ferried over the divine aged ones let me neither be burnt up nor destroyed by fire i am bet the first-born son of osiris who doth meet every god within his eye in anu i am the divine heir the exalted one the mighty one the resting one i have made my name to germinate i have delivered it and thou shalt live through me day by day chapter sixty three b vignette the deceased standing before two symbols of fire or the deceased sitting at a table of offerings and smelling a flower text the chapter of not being scalded with water the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am the oar made ready for rowing wherewith ra transported the boat containing the divine ancestors and lifted up the moist emanations of osiris from the lake of fire and he was not burned i lie down like a divine ku and like kanemu who dwelleth among lions come break away the restraints from him that passeth by the side of this path and let me come forth by it chapter sixty four the sixty fourth chapter is probably one of the oldest of all and two versions of it seem to have existed in the earliest times 
the longer version is called the chapter of coming forth by day in the underworld and the shorter the chapter of knowing the chapters of coming forth by day in a single chapter on a coffin of the eleventh dynasty both versions occur the rubric of one version says that it was discovered in the reign of hesepti that is about b c four thousand two hundred and sixty six while the rubric of the other attributes its discovery to the time of menthu hetep which is clearly a mistake for men cow ra my serenus thus in the eleventh dynasty it was believed that the chapter might even be as ancient as the time of the first dynasty there is little doubt that the chapter was looked upon as an abridgment of all the chapters of coming forth by day and that it had a value which was equivalent to them all chapter sixty four vignette the deceased adoring the sun's disc which rises above the top of a tree text the chapter of coming forth by day in the underworld nebseni lord of reverence saith i am yesterday to-day and to-morrow and i have the power to be born a second time i am the divine hidden soul who createth the gods and who giveth sepulchral meals unto the denizens of the tuat underworld amentet and heaven i am the rudder of the east the possessor of two divine faces wherein his beams are seen i am the lord of the men who are raised up the lord who cometh forth from out of the darkness and whose forms of existence are of the house wherein are the dead hail ye two hawks who are perched upon your resting-places who hearken unto the things which are said by him who guide the bier to the hidden place who lead along ra and who follow him into the uppermost place of the shrine which is in the celestial heights hail lord of the shrine which standeth in the middle of the earth he is i and i am he and ptah hath covered his sky with crystal hail ra thou who art content thy heart is glad by reason of the beautiful law of the day thou enterest in by kemenu and comest forth at the east and the divine first-born beings who are in thy presence cry out with gladness unto thee make thou thy roads glad for me and make broad for me thy paths when i shall set out from earth for the life in the celestial regions send forth thy light upon me o soul unknown for i am one of those who are about to enter in and the divine speech is in my ears in the tuat underworld and let no defects of my mother be imputed unto me let me be delivered and let me be safe from him whose divine eyes sleep at eventide when he gathereth together and finisheth the day in night i flood the land with water and kemur is my name and the garment wherewith i am clothed is complete hail thou divine prince ati she f cry out unto those divine beings who dwell in their hair at the season when the god is lifted upon the shoulder saying come thou who dwellest above thy divine abyss of water for verily the thigh of the sacrifices tied to the neck and the buttocks are laid upon the head of amentet may the urti goddesses that is isis and nephthys grant such gifts unto me when my tears start from me as i see myself journeying with the divine tenna in abydos and the wooden fastenings which fasten the four doors above thee are in thy power within thy garment thy face is like that of a greyhound which scenteth with his nose the place whither i go on my feet the god akha transporteth me to the chamber and my nurse is the divine double lion god himself i am made strong and i come forth like him that forceth a way through the gate and the radiance which my heart hath made is enduring i know the abysses is thy name i work for you o ye khus four millions six hundred thousand one thousand and two hundred are they concerning the things which are there i am over their affairs working for hours and days in setting straight the shoulders of the twelve sa gods and joining the hands of their company each to each the sixth who is at the head of the abyss is the hour of the defeat of the fiends 
i have come there in triumph and i am he who is in the halls or courtyards of the underworld and i am he who is laid under tribute to shu i rise as the lord of life through the beautiful law of this day and it is their blood and the cool water of their slaughter which make the union of the earth to blossom i make a way among the horns of all those who make themselves strong against me and among those who in secret make themselves adversaries unto me and who are upon their bellies i have come as the envoy of my lord of lords to give counsel concerning osiris the eye shall not absorb its tears i am the divine envoy of the house of him that dwelleth in his possessions and i have come from sekum to anu to make known to the benu bird therein concerning the events of the tuat underworld hail thou alkert that is underworld which hidest thy companion who is in thee thou creator of forms of existence like the god Kapura grant thou that nebseni the scribe and designer to the temples of the south and of the north may come forth to see the disc and that his journeyings forth may be in the presence of the great god that is to say shu who dwelleth in everlastingness let me journey on in peace let me pass over the sky let me adore the radiance of the splendour which is in my sight let me soar like a bird to see the companies of the khus in the presence of ra day by day who vivifieth every human being that walketh upon the regions which are upon the earth hail hemti that is runner hail hemti who carriest away the shades of the dead and the khus from earth grant thou unto me a prosperous way to the tuat underworld such as is made for the favoured ones of the god because i am helpless to gather together the emanations which come from me who art thou then who consumest in its hidden place i am the chief in Ristau, and he that goeth in in his own name and cometh forth in that of Ehi, the lord of millions of years and of the earth is my name the pregnant goddess hath deposited upon the earth her load and hath given birth to hit straightway the closed door which is by the wall is overthrown it is turned upside down and i rejoice thereat to the mighty one hath his eye been given and it sendeth forth light from his face when the earth becometh light or at daybreak i shall not become corrupt but i shall come into being in the form of the lion god and like the blossoms of shu i am the being who is never overwhelmed in the waters happy yea happy is he that looked upon the funeral couch which hath come to his place of rest upon the happy day of the god whose heart resteth who maketh his place of alighting thereon i am he who cometh forth by day the lord of the beer which giveth life in the presence of osiris in very truth the things which are thine are stable each day o scribe artist child of the seshet chamber nebseni lord of veneration i clasp the sycamore tree i myself am joined unto the sycamore tree and its arms are opened unto me graciously i have come and i have clasped the uchat and i have caused it to be seated in peace upon its throne i have come to see ra when he setteth and i absorb into myself the winds which arise when he cometh forth and both my hands are clean to adore him i have gathered together all my members i have gathered together all my members i soar like a bird and i descend upon the earth and mine eye maketh me to walk thereon in my footsteps i am the child of yesterday and the akeru gods of the earth have made me to come into being and they have made me strong for my moment of coming forth i hide with the god abba ayu who will walk behind me and my members shall germinate and my ku shall be as an amulet for my body and as one who watcheth to protect my soul and to defend it and to converse therewith and the company of the gods shall hearken unto my words rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall be victorious both upon earth and in the underworld he shall do that whatsoever a man doeth who is upon the earth and he shall perform all the deeds which those do who are alive now it is a great protection given by the god 
this chapter was found in the city of kemenu inscribed upon the block of iron in letters of lapis lazuli which was under the feet of this god in the rubric to this chapter is found in the papyrus of mesemnetr the chapter is said to have been discovered in the foundations of the shrine of the divine henu boat by the chief mason in the time of the king of the north and of the south has septi triumphant and it is there directed that it shall be recited by one who is ceremonially pure and clean and who hath not touched women and who hath not eaten flesh of animals or fish chapter sixty four vignette in the papyrus of nu this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of knowing the chapters of coming forth by day in a single chapter the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief osiris nu triumphant begotten of the overseer of the palace amen hetep triumphant saith i am yesterday and to-morrow and i have the power to be born a second time i am the divine hidden soul who createth the gods and who giveth sepulchral meals to the divine hidden beings in the tuat underworld in amenti and in heaven i am the rudder of the east the possessor of two divine faces wherein his beams are seen i am the lord of those who are raised up the lord who cometh forth from out of the darkness hail ye two divine hawks who are perched upon your resting-places and who hearken unto the things which are said by him the thigh of the sacrifice is tied to the neck and the buttocks are laid upon the head of amentet may the ur urti goddesses that is isis and nephthys grant such gifts unto me when my tears start from me as i look on i know the abysses is thy name i work for you o ye khus who are in number four millions six hundred and one thousand and two hundred and they are in height twelve cubits ye travel on joining the hands each to each but the sixth hour which belongeth at the head of the tuat underworld is the hour of the overthrow of the fiend i have come there in triumph and i am he who is in the hall or courtyard of the tuat and the seven come in his manifestations the strength which protecteth me is that which hath my ku under its protection that is the blood and the cool water and the slaughterings which abound i open a way among the horns of all those who would do harm unto me who keep themselves hidden who make themselves adversaries unto me and those who are upon their bellies the eye shall not eat or absorb the tears of the goddess alkert hail goddess alkert open thou unto me the enclosed place and grant thou unto me pleasant roads whereupon i may travel who art thou then who consumest in the hidden places i am the chief in re stau and i go in and come forth in my name of hehi the lord of millions of years and of the earth i am the maker of my name the pregnant one hath deposited upon the earth her load the door by the wall is shut fast and the things of terror are overturned and thrown down upon the backbone of the benu bird by the two Samaic goddesses to the mighty one hath his eye been given and his face emitteth light when he illumineth the earth my name is his name i shall not become corrupt but i shall come into being in the form of the lion god the blossoms of shu shall be in me i am he who is never overwhelmed in the waters happy yea happy is the funeral couch of the still heart he maketh himself to alight upon the pool and verily he cometh forth therefrom i am the lord of my life i have come to this place and i have come forth from re Aert, the city of osiris verily the things which are thine are with the Saru deities i have clasped the sycamore tree and i have divided it i have opened a way for myself among the sekyu gods of the tuat i have come to see him that dwelleth in his divine uraeus face to face and eye to eye and i draw to myself the winds which rise when he cometh forth my two eyes are weak in my face o lion god babe who dwellest in utent thou art in me and i am in thee and thy attributes are my attributes i am the god of the inundation ba and quem er she is my name 
my forms are the forms of the god kapera the hair of the earth of tem the hair of the earth of tem i have entered in as a man of no understanding and i shall come forth in the form of a strong coup and i shall look upon my form which shall be that of men and women for ever and for ever rubric one if this chapter be known by a man he shall come forth by day and he shall not be repulsed at any gate of that tuat underworld either in going in or in coming out he shall perform all the transformations which his heart shall desire for him and he shall not die behold the soul of this man shall flourish and moreover if he know this chapter he shall be victorious upon earth and in the underworld and he shall perform every act of a living human being now it is a great protection which hath been given by the god this chapter was found in the foundations of the shrine of hennu by the chief mason during the reign of his majesty the king of the north and of the south hesepti triumphant who carried it away as a mysterious object which had never before been seen or looked upon the chapter shall be recited by a man who is ceremonially clean and pure who hath not eaten the flesh of animals or fish and who hath not had intercourse with women rubric two if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall be victorious both upon earth and in the underworld and he shall perform every act of a living human being now it is a great protection which hath been given by the god this chapter was found in the city of kemenu upon a block of iron of the south which had been inlaid with letters of real lapis lazuli under the feet of the god during the reign of his majesty the king of the north and of the south men kau ra my serenus triumphant by the royal son heru ta ta f triumphant he found it when he was journeying about to make an inspection of the temples one neket was with him who was diligent in making him to understand it and he brought it to the king as a wonderful object when he saw that it was a thing of great mystery which had never before been seen or looked upon this chapter shall be recited by a man who is ceremonially clean and pure who hath not eaten the flesh of animals or fish and who hath not had intercourse with women and behold thou shalt make a scarab of green stone with a rim plated with gold which shall be placed in the heart of a man and it shall perform for him the opening of the mouth and thou shalt anoint it with anti unguent and thou shalt recite over it these enchantments chapter sixty five vignette the deceased kneeling in adoration before ra hawk-headed and having a disc encircled by an uraeus on his head text the chapter of coming forth by day and of gaining the mastery over enemies the chancellor-in-chief knew saith ra sitteth in his habitation of millions of years and he hath gathered together the company of the gods with those divine beings whose faces are hidden who dwell in the temple of Kapera who eat the god ba and who drink the drink offerings which are brought into the celestial regions of light and conversely grant that i may take possession of the captives of osiris and never let me have my being among the fiends of sudi hail let me sit upon his folds in the habitation of the god usur ba that is he of the strong soul grant thou that i may sit upon the throne of ra and let me have possession of my body before the god seb grant thou that osiris may come forth triumphant over suti and over the night watchers of suti and over the night watchers of the crocodile yea the night watchers of the crocodile whose faces are hidden and who dwell in the divine temple of the king of the north in the apparel of the gods on the sixth day of the festival whose snares are like unto everlastingness and whose cords are like unto eternity i have seen the god abet ka placing the cord the child is laid in fetters and the rope of the god avka is drawn tight behold me i am born and i come forth in the form of a living ku and the human beings who are upon the earth ascribe praise unto me hail myrrh who doest these things for me and who art put an end to by the vigour of ra grant thou that i may see ra grant thou that i may come forth against my enemies and grant thou that i may be victorious over them in the presence of the sovereign princes of the great god who are in the presence of the great god if repulsing me 
thou dost not allow me to come forth against my enemy and to be victorious over him before the sovereign princes then may hapi who liveth upon law and order not come forth into heaven now he liveth by maat and may ra who feedeth upon fish not descend into the waters and then verily shall ra who feedeth upon right and order come forth into heaven and then verily shall hapi who feedeth upon fish descend into the waters and then verily the great day upon the earth shall not be in its season i have come against my enemy he hath been given unto me he hath come to an end and i have gotten possession of him before the sovereign princes chapter sixty five vignette the deceased standing up and holding a staff in his left hand text the chapter of coming forth by day and of gaining the mastery over enemies hail thou who shinest from the moon and who sendest forth light therefrom thou comest forth among thy multitudes and thou goest round about let me rise or as others say let me be brought in among the khus and let the underworld be opened unto me behold i have come forth on this day and i have become a khu or a shining being therefore shall the khus let me live and they shall cause my enemies to be brought to me in a state of misery in the presence of the divine sovereign princes the divine ka double of my mother shall rest in peace because of this and i shall stand upon my feet and have a staff of gold or as others say a rod of gold in my hand wherewith i shall inflict cuts on the limbs of mine enemy and shall live the legs of sothis are established and i am born in their state of rest chapter sixty six vignette in the only papyrus known to contain this chapter it has no vignette text the chapter of coming forth by day the scribe mahu saith i have knowledge i was conceived by the goddess seket and the goddess neith gave birth to me i am horus and i have come forth from the eye of horus i am uchit who came forth from horus i am horus and i fly up and perch myself upon the forehead of ra in the bows of his boat which is in heaven chapter sixty seven vignette this chapter is without a vignette text the chapter of opening the underworld the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith the chamber of those who dwell in nu is opened and the footsteps of those who dwell with the god of light are set free the chamber of shu is opened and he cometh forth and i shall come forth outside and i shall advance from my territory i shall receive and i shall lay firm hold upon the tribute in the house of the chief of his dead i shall advance to my throne which is in the boat of ra i shall not be molested and i shall not suffer shipwreck from my throne which is in the boat of ra the mighty one hail thou that shinest and givest light from hent chapter sixty eight vignette the deceased kneeling before a goddess seated by a tree or the deceased standing by the side of a table of offerings and adoring a goddess who stands in a shrine text the chapter of coming forth by day the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith the doors of heaven are open for me the doors of earth are open for me the bars and bolts of seb are open for me and the first temple hath been unfastened for me by the god petra behold i was guarded and watched but now i am released behold his hand had tied cords round me and his hand had darted upon me in the earth rehent hath been opened for me and rehent hath been unfastened before me rehent hath been given unto me and i shall come forth by day unto whatsoever place i please i have gained the mastery over my heart i have gained the mastery over my breast i have gained the mastery over my two hands i have gained the mastery over my two feet i have gained the mastery over my mouth i have gained the mastery over my whole body i have gained the mastery over sepulchral offerings i have gained the mastery over the waters i have gained the mastery over the air i have gained the mastery over the canal i have gained the mastery over the river and over the land i have gained the mastery over the furrows i have gained the mastery over the male workers for me i have gained the mastery over the female workers for me in the underworld i have gained the mastery over all the things which were ordered to be done for me upon the earth according to the entreaty which ye spake for me saying behold let him live upon the bread of seb that which is an abomination unto me i shall not eat nay i shall live upon cakes made of white grain and my ale shall be made of the red grain of hopi 
that is the nile in a clean place shall i sit on the ground beneath the foliage of the date palm of the goddess hathor who dwelleth in the spacious disk as it advanceth to anu heliopolis having the books of the divine words of the writings of the god thoth i have gained the mastery over my heart i have gained the mastery over my heart's place or breast i have gained the mastery over my mouth i have gained the mastery over my two hands i have gained the mastery over the waters i have gained the mastery over the canal i have gained the mastery over the river i have gained the mastery over the furrows i have gained the mastery over the men who work for me i have gained the mastery over the women who work for me in the underworld i have gained the mastery over all the things which were ordered to be done for me upon earth and in the underworld i shall lift myself up on my left side and i shall place myself on my right side i shall lift myself up on my right side and i shall place myself on my left side i shall sit down i shall stand up and i shall place myself in the path of the wind like a guide who is well prepared rubric if this composition be known by the deceased he shall come forth by day and he shall be in a position to journey about over the earth among the living and he shall never suffer diminution never never chapter sixty nine vignette this chapter is without a vignette both in the theban and saite recensions of the book of the dead text another chapter i am the fire god the divine brother of the fire god and i am osiris the brother of isis my divine son together with his mother isis hath avenged me on mine enemies my enemies have wrought every kind of evil therefore their arms and hands and feet have been fettered by reason of their wickedness which they have wrought upon me i am osiris the first-born of the divine womb the first-born of the gods and the heir of my father osiris said i am osiris the lords of the heads that live mighty of breast and powerful of back with a phallus which goeth to the remotest limits where men and women live i am sa orion who travelleth over his domain and who journeyeth along before the stars of heaven which is the belly of my mother nut she conceived me through her love and she gave birth to me because it was her will so to do i am anpu anubis on the day of the god sepa i am the bull at the head of the meadow i even i am osiris who imprisoned his father together with his mother on the day of making the great slaughter now his father is seb and his mother is nut i am horus the first-born of ra of the risings i am ampu anubis on the day of the god sepa i even i am the lord tem i am osiris hail thou divine first-born who dost enter and dost speak before the divine scribe and doorkeeper of osiris grant that i may come i have become a khu i have been judged i have become a divine being i have come and i have avenged mine own body i have taken up my seat by the divine birth chamber of osiris and i have destroyed the sickness and suffering which were there i have become mighty and i have become a divine being by the side of the birth chamber of osiris i am brought forth with him i renew my youth i renew my youth i take possession of my two thighs which are in the place where is osiris and i open the mouth of the gods therewith i take my seat by his side and thoth cometh forth and i am strengthened in heart with thousands of cakes upon the altars of my divine father and with my beasts and with my cattle and with my red feathered fowl and with my oxen and with my geese and with my ducks for horus my chieftain and with the offerings which i make to thoth and with the sacrifices which i offer up to an heri er chapter seventy vignette this chapter is without a vignette both in the theban and saite recensions of the book of the dead text another chapter i have sacrificed unto anheri er taitza and i am decreed to be strengthened in heart for i have made offerings at the altars of my divine father osiris i rule in tatu and i lift myself up over his land i sniff the wind of the east by its hair i lay hold upon the north wind by its hair i seize and hold fast to the west wind by its body and i go round about heaven on its four sides i lay hold upon the south wind by its eye and i bestow air upon the venerable beings who are in the underworld along with the eating of cakes rubric if this composition be known by the deceased upon earth he shall come forth by day and he shall have the faculty of travelling about among the living and his name shall never perish
end of chapters 61 through 70 chapters 71 through 80 of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter 71 vignette the deceased kneeling with both hands raised in adoration before the goddess may Ert. the legend reads the homage of the scribe nepseni to the goddess may Ert, lady of heaven and mistress of earth elsewhere the deceased is seen adoring ra in the presence of thoth and osiris text the chapter of coming forth by day the libationer the lord of reverence nepseni saith hail thou hawk who risest in heaven thou lord of the goddess may Ert, strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon the earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me i am the hawk which is within the shrine and i open that which is upon the hangings thereof behold horus the son of isis behold horus the son of isis strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me i am the hawk in the southern heaven and i am thoth in the northern heaven i make peace with the raging fire and i bring maat to him that loveth her behold thoth even thoth strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me i am the plant of the region where nothing sprouteth and the blossom of the hidden horizon behold osiris yea osiris strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me hail thou who standest upon thy legs in thine hour or as others say hail thou who art victorious upon thy legs in thine hour thou lord of the two divine tchafi who livest in the two divine tchafi strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me hail thou nekan who art in thine egg thou lord of the goddess maert strengthen thou me according as thou hast strengthened thyself and show thyself upon earth o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me the god sepek hath stood up within his ground and the goddess neith hath stood up within her plantation o thou that returnest and withdrawest thyself show thyself upon earth and let thy will be done behold the god of one face is with me hail ye seven beings who make decrees who support the scales on the night of the judgment of the utchat who cut off heads who hack necks in pieces who take possession of hearts by violence and rend the places where hearts are fixed who make slaughterings in the lake of fire i know you and i know your names therefore know ye me even as i know your names i come forth to you therefore come ye forth to me for ye live in me and i would live in you make ye me to be vigorous by means of that which is in your hands that is to say by the rod of power which is in your hands decree ye for me life by your speech year by year give me multitudes of years over and above my years of life and multitudes of months over and above my months of life and multitudes of days over and above my days of life and multitudes of nights over and above my nights of life and grant that i may come forth and shine upon my statue and grant me air for my nose and let my eyes have the power to see among those divine beings who dwell in the horizon on the day when evil-doing and wrong are justly assessed 
rubric if this chapter be recited for the deceased he shall be strong upon earth before ra and he shall have a comfortable burial or tomb with osiris and it shall be of great benefit to a man in the underworld sepulchral bread shall be given unto him and he shall come forth into the presence of ra day by day and every day regularly and continually chapter seventy two vignette the deceased standing and holding a staff in his left hand text the chapter of coming forth by day and of opening up a way through the amahet behold the scribe nebseni triumphant who saith homage to you o ye lords of kaz ye who are without sin and who live for the limitless and infinite eons of time which make up eternity i have opened up a way for myself to you i have become a coup in my forms i have gained the mastery over my enchantments and i am decreed to be a coup therefore deliver ye me from the crocodile which liveth in this country of right and truth grant ye to me my mouth that i may speak therewith and cause that my sepulchral meals be placed in my hands in your presence for i know you and i know your names and i know also the name of the mighty god before whose nose ye set your techafau food and the name is tekem when he openeth up his path in the eastern horizon of heaven and when he fluttereth down in the western horizon of heaven may he carry me along with him and may i be safe and sound let not the mesket make an end of me let not the fiend gain the mastery over me let me not be turned back at your portals and let not your doors be shut in my face because my cakes are in the city of pei and my ale is in the city of tep and there in the celestial mansions of heaven which my divine father tem hath established let my hands lay hold upon the wheat and the barley which shall be given unto me therein in abundant measure and may the son of mine own body make ready for me my food therein and grant ye unto me therein sepulchral meals and incense and wax and all the beautiful and pure things whereon the god liveth in very deed for ever in all the transformations which it pleaseth me to perform and grant me the power to float down and to sail up the stream in seket aru and may i reach seket hetep i am the double lion god rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased upon earth or if it be done in writing upon his coffin he shall come forth by day in all the forms which he is pleased to take and he shall enter into his place and shall not be driven back and cakes and ale and joints of meat upon the altar of osiris shall be given unto him and he shall enter in peace into seket aru to know the decree of him who dwelleth in tatu there shall wheat and barley be given unto him there shall he flourish as he did upon earth and he shall do whatever it pleaseth him to do even as the company of the gods which is in the underworld continually and regularly for millions of times chapter seventy three this chapter is given twice in the turin papyrus once with a vignette and once without the vignette in the theban recension is quite different from that in the saite recension where the deceased is seen standing and holding a staff in his left hand chapter seventy four vignette the deceased kneeling with both hands raised in adoration before the sucker boat placed upon its sledge in the saite recension the deceased is standing near a two-legged serpent text the chapter of lifting up the feet and of coming forth upon the earth the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith perform thy work o seker perform thy work o seker o thou who dwellest in thy house and who standest on thy feet in the underworld i am the god who sendeth forth rays of light over the thigh of heaven and i come forth to heaven and i sit myself down by the god of light ku hail i have become helpless hail i have become helpless but i go forward i have become helpless i have become helpless in the regions of those who plunder in the underworld 
chapter seventy five vignette in the saite recension the deceased is standing before the emblem of anu heliopolis text the chapter of journeying to anu heliopolis and of receiving a throne therein the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith i have come forth from the uttermost parts of the earth and i have received my apparel at the will of the ape i penetrate into the holy habitations of those who are in their shrines or coffins i force my way through the habitations of the god remrem and i arrive in the habitations of the god Akhsesef. i travel on through the holy chambers and i pass into the temple of the god kemkem the buckle hath been given unto me it hath placed its hands upon me it hath decreed to my service its sister kebent and its mother Kekhet. it placeth me in the eastern part of heaven wherein ra riseth and is exalted every day and i rise therein and travel onward and i become a spiritual body sa like the god and they set me on that holy way on which thoth journeyeth when he goeth to make peace between the two fighting gods that is horus and set he journeyeth he journeyeth to the city of pe and he cometh to the city of tepu chapter seventy six vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the theban recension but in the saite recension a figure of the deceased is given above the chapter text the chapter of a man transforming himself into whatever form he pleaseth the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i have come into the house of the king by means of the mantis abit which led me hither homage to thee o thou who fliest into heaven and dost shine upon the sun of the white crown and dost protect the white crown let me have my existence with thee i have gathered together the great gods i am mighty i have made my way and i have travelled along thereon chapter seventy seven vignette a golden hawk holding a flail emblematic of rule text the chapter of performing the transformation into a hawk of gold the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i have risen i have risen like the mighty hawk of gold that cometh forth from his egg i fly and i alight like the hawk which hath a back four cubits wide and the wings of which are like unto the mother of emerald of the south i have come forth from the interior of the sectet boat and my heart hath been brought unto me from the mountain of the east i have alighted upon the atet boat and those who were dwelling in their companies have been brought unto me and they bowed low in paying homage unto me and in saluting me with cries of joy i have risen and i have gathered myself together like the beautiful hawk of gold which hath the head of a benu bird and ra entereth in day by day to hearken unto my words i have taken my seat among those first-born gods of nut i am established and the divine sekhet hetep is before me i have eaten therein i have become a ku therein i have an abundance therein as much as i desire the god nephra hath given to me my throat and i have gained the mastery over that which guardeth or belongeth to my head chapter seventy eight vignette a hawk painted green holding a flail and standing upon a pylon shaped pedestal text the chapter of making the transformation into a divine hawk the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith hail great god come now to tatu make thou smooth for me the ways and let me go round about to visit my thrones i have renewed myself and i have raised myself up o grant thou that i may be feared and make thou me to be a terror let the gods of the underworld be afraid of me and may they fight for me in their habitations which are therein let not him that would do me harm draw nigh unto me or injure me in the house of darkness that is he that clotheth and covereth the feeble one and whose name is hidden and let not the gods act likewise towards me hail ye gods who hearken unto my speech hail ye rulers who are among the followers of osiris be ye therefore silent o ye gods when one god speaketh unto another for he hearkeneth unto right and truth and what i speak unto him 
do thou also speak for me then o osiris grant thou that i may journey round about according to that which cometh forth from thy mouth concerning me and grant that i may see thine own form or forms and the dispositions of thy souls grant thou that i may come forth and that i may have power over my legs and that i may have my existence there like unto that of neber tcher who is over all may the gods of the underworld fear me and may they fight for me in their habitations grant thou that i may move along therein together with the divine beings who journey onwards and may i be established upon my resting-place like the lord of life may i be joined unto isis the divine lady and may she protect me from him that would do an injury unto me and let not any one come to see the divine one naked and helpless may i journey on may i come into the uttermost parts of heaven i exchange speech with the god seb i make supplication for divine food from neber -etur. the gods of the underworld have fear of me and they fight for me in their habitations when they see that thou hast provided me with food both of the fowl of the air and of the fish of the sea i am one of those khus who dwell with the divine khu and i have made my form like unto his divine form when he cometh forth and maketh himself manifest in tatu i am a spiritual body saw and possess my soul and will speak unto thee the things which concern me o grant thou that i may be feared and make thou me to be a terror let the gods of the underworld be afraid of me and may they fight for me in their habitations i even i am the khu who dwelleth with the divine khu whom the god tem himself hath created and who hath come into being from the blossom that is the eyelashes of his eye he hath made to have existence and he hath made to be glorious that is to be khus and he hath made mighty thereby those who have their existence along with him behold he is the only one in nu and they sing praises or do homage unto him when he cometh forth from the horizon and the gods and the khus who have come into being along with him ascribe the lordship of terror unto him i am one of those worms which the eye of the lord the only one hath created and behold when as yet isis had not given birth to horus i had germinated and had flourished and i had become aged and i had become greater than those who dwelt with the divine khu and who had come into being along with him and i had risen up like the divine hawk and horus made for me a spiritual body containing his own soul so that i might take possession of all that belonged unto osiris in the underworld the double lion god the governor of the things which belong to the temple of the nemes crown who dwelleth in his secret abode saith unto me get thee back to the uttermost parts of heaven for behold inasmuch as through thy form of horus thou hast become a spiritual body saw the nemes crown is not for thee but behold thou hast the power of speech even to the uttermost parts of heaven and i the guardian took possession of the things of horus which belonged unto osiris in the underworld and horus told aloud unto me the things which his divine father osiris spake unto him in years gone by on the day of his own burial i have given unto thee the nemes crown through the double lion god that thou mayest pass onward and mayest come to the heavenly path and that those who dwell in the uttermost parts of the horizon may see thee and that the gods of the underworld may see thee and may fight for thee in their habitations and of them is the auhet the gods each and all of them who are the warders of the shrine of the lord the only one have fallen before my words hail he that is exalted upon his tomb is on my side and he hath bound upon my head the nemes crown by the decree of the double lion god on my behalf and the god auhet hath prepared a way for me i even i am exalted in my tomb and the double lion god hath bound the nemes crown upon my head and he hath also given unto me the double hairy covering of my head he hath established my heart through his own backbone he hath established my heart through his own great and exceeding strength and i shall not fall through shu i make my peace with the beautiful divine brother the lord of the two 
uriah adored be he i even i am he who knoweth the roads through the sky and the wind thereof is in my body the bull which striketh terror into men shall not drive me back and i shall pass on to the place where lieth the shipwrecked mariner on the border of the sekhet nehe that is field of illimitable time and i shall journey on to the night and sorrow of the regions of amenti o osiris i shall come each day into the house of the double lion god and i shall come forth therefrom into the house of isis the divine lady i shall behold sacred things which are hidden and i shall be led on to the secret and holy things even as they have granted unto me to see the birth of the great god horus hath made me to be a spiritual body through his soul and i see what is therein if i speak near the mighty ones of shu they repulse my opportunity i am the guardian and i take possession of the things which horus had from osiris in the underworld i even i am horus who dwelleth in the divine khu i have gained power over his crown i have gained power over his radiance and i have travelled over the remote illimitable parts of heaven horus is upon his throne horus is upon his royal seat my face is like unto that of the divine hawk my strength is like unto that of the divine hawk and i am one who hath been fully equipped by his divine lord i shall come forth to tatu i shall see osiris i shall pay homage to him on the right hand and on the left i shall pay homage unto nut and she shall look upon me and the god shall look upon me together with the eye of horus who is without sight they the gods shall make their arms to come forth unto me i rise up as a divine power and i repulse him that would subject me to restraint they open unto me the holy paths they see my form and they hear that which i speak down upon your faces ye gods of the tuat underworld who would resist me with your faces and oppose me with your powers who lead along the stars which never rest and who make the holy paths unto the hamati abode where is the lord of the exceedingly mighty and terrible soul horus hath commanded that ye lift up your faces so that i may look upon you i have risen up like the divine hawk and horus hath made for me a spiritual body through his own soul to take possession of that which belongeth to osiris in the tuat underworld i have bound up the gods with divine tresses and i have travelled on to those who ward their chambers and who were on both sides of me i have made my roads and i have journeyed on and have reached those divine beings who inhabit their secret dwellings and who are warders of the temple of osiris i have spoken unto them with strength and have made them to know the most mighty power of him that is provided with two horns to fight against suti and i make them to know concerning him that hath taken possession of the divine food and who is provided with the might of ten may the gods of the underworld order a prosperous journey for me o ye gods who inhabit your secret dwellings and who are warders of the temple of osiris and whose numbers are great and multitudinous grant ye that i may come unto you i have bound up and i have gathered together the powers of kesemu ananet or as others say kesemiu ananet and i have made holy the powers of the paths of those who watch and ward the roads of the horizon and who are the guardians of the horizon of humati which is in heaven i have established habitations for osiris i have made the ways holy for him i have done that which hath been commanded i have come forth to tatu i have seen osiris i have spoken unto him concerning the matters of his first-born son whom he loveth and concerning the wounding of the heart of suti and i have seen the divine one who is without life yea i have made them to know concerning the counsels of the gods which horus carried out while his father osiris was not with him hail lord thou most mighty and terrible soul verily i even i have come look thou upon me and do thou make me to be exalted i have made my way through the tuat underworld and i have opened up the paths which belong to heaven and also those which belong to earth and i have suffered no opposition therein exalted be thou upon thy throne o osiris thou hast heard fair things o osiris thy strength is vigorous o osiris thy head is fastened unto thee o osiris thy 
brow is stablished o osiris thy heart is glad o osiris thy speech is stablished o osiris and thy princes rejoice thou art stablished like the bull of amentet thy son horus hath risen like the sun upon thy throne and all life is with him millions of years minister unto him and millions of years hold him in fear the company of the gods are his servants and the company of the gods hold him in fear the god tem the governor and only one of the gods hath spoken these things and his word passeth not away horus is both the divine food and the sacrifice he hath passed on to gather together the members of his divine father horus is his deliverer horus is his deliverer horus hath sprung from the water of his divine father and from his decay he hath become the governor of egypt the gods labour for him and they toil for him for millions of years and he hath made to live millions of years through the, his eye the only one of its lord or nebes nebet ter chapter seventy nine vignette the deceased kneeling in adoration before three gods text the chapter of being transformed into the governor of the sovereign princes the chancellor in chief nu triumphant saith i am the god tem the maker of heaven the creator of things which are who cometh forth from the earth who maketh to come into being the seed which is sown the lord of things which shall be who gave birth to the gods i am the great god who made himself the lord of life who maketh to flourish the company of the gods homage to you o ye lords of divine things or of creation ye pure beings whose abodes are hidden homage to you o ye everlasting lords whose forms are hidden and whose shrines are hidden in places which are unknown homage to you o ye gods who dwell in the tenait homage to you o ye gods of the circuit of the flooded lands of kebu homage to you o ye gods who live in amentet homage to you o ye company of the gods who dwell in nut grant ye that i may come unto you for i am pure i am divine i am a khu i am strong i am endowed with a soul or i am mighty and i have brought unto you incense and sweet-smelling gums and natron i have made an end of the spittle which floweth from your mouth upon me i have come and i have made an end of the evil things which are in your hearts and i have removed the faults which ye kept laid up against me i have brought to you the things which are good and i make to come into your presence right and truth i even i know you and i know your names and i know your forms which are unknown and i come into being along with you my coming is like unto that of the god who eateth men and who liveth upon the gods i am mighty with you like the god who is exalted upon his resting-place the gods come to me in gladness and goddesses make supplication unto me when they see me i have come unto you and i have risen like your two divine daughters i have taken my seat in the horizon and i receive my offerings upon my tables and i drink drink offerings at eventide my coming is received with shouts of joy and the divine beings who dwell in the horizon ascribe praises unto me the divine spiritual bodies saw the lord of divine beings i am exalted like the holy god who dwelleth in the great temple and the gods rejoice when they see me in my beautiful coming forth from the body of nut when my mother nut giveth birth unto me chapter eighty vignette a god with the disk of the sun upon his head text the chapter of making the transformation into the god who giveth light in the darkness saith osiris the scribe ani triumphant i am the girdle of the robe of the god nu which shineth and sheddeth light upon that which belongeth to his breast which sendeth forth light into the darkness which uniteth the two fighting deities who dwell in my body through the mighty spell of the words of my mouth which raiseth up him that hath fallen for he who was with him in the valley of abtu abadas hath fallen and i rest i have remembered him i have taken possession of the god hugh in my city for i found him therein and i have led away captive the darkness by my might i have rescued the eye of the sun when it waned at the coming of the festival of the fifteenth day and i have weighed sut in the celestial houses against the aged one who is with him i have endowed thoth with what is needful in the temple of the moon god for the coming of the fifteenth day of the festival i have taken possession of the uraret crown maat 
right and truth is in my body its mouths are of turquoise and rock crystal my homestead is among the furrows which are of the colour of lapis lazuli i am hemnu who sheddeth light in the darkness i have come to give light in the darkness which is made light and bright by me i have given light in the darkness and i have overthrown the destroying crocodiles i have sung praises unto those who dwell in the darkness i have raised up those who wept and who had hidden their faces and had sunk down in wretchedness and they did look then upon me hail then ye beings i am hem new and i will not let you hear concerning the matter i have opened the way i am hem new i have made light the darkness i have come having made an end of the darkness which have become light indeed end of chapters seventy one through eighty chapters eighty one through ninety of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter eighty one a vignette in the papyrus of nepseni the vignette of this chapter is simply a lotus flower in full bloom but in the papyrus of ani a human head is seen springing from the lotus which is growing in a pool of water text the chapter of making the transformation into a lotus the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu saith i am the pure lotus which springeth up from the divine splendour that belongeth to the nostrils of ra i have made my way and i follow on seeking for him who is horus i am the pure one who cometh forth out of the field chapter eighty one b vignette a human head springing from a lotus text the chapter of making the transformation into a lotus saith osiris pakwer hail thou lotus thou type of the god nefer temu i am the man that knoweth you and i know your names among those of the gods the lords of the underworld and i am one of you grant ye that i may see the gods who are the divine guides in the tuat underworld and grant ye unto me a place in the underworld near unto the lords of amentet let me arrive at a habitation in the land of tchesert and receive me o all ye gods in the presence of the lords of eternity grant that my soul may come forth whithersoever it pleaseth and let it not be driven away from the presence of the great company of the gods chapter eighty two vignette the god ptah in a shrine before which is a table of offerings text the chapter of making the transformation into ptah of eating cakes and of drinking ale and of unfettering the steps and of becoming a living being in anu heliopolis the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i fly like a hawk i cackle like the smen goose and i perch upon that abode of the underworld aat on the festival of the great being that which is an abomination unto me that which is an abomination unto me i have not eaten filth is an abomination unto me and i have not eaten thereof and that which is an abomination unto my ka hath not entered into my belly let me then live upon that which the gods and the khus decree for me let me live and let me have power over cakes let me eat them before the gods and the khus who have a favour unto me let me have power over these cakes and let me eat of them under the shade of the leaves of the palm-tree of the goddess hathor who is my divine lady let the offering of the sacrifice and the offering of cakes and vessels of libations be made in anu let me clothe myself in the ta al garment which i shall receive from the hand of the goddess ta it let me stand up and let me sit down wheresoever i please my head is like unto that of ra and when my members are gathered together i am like unto tem the four sides of the domain of ra and the width of the earth four times i come forth my tongue is like unto that of ptah and my throne is like unto that of the goddess hathor and i make mention of the words of tem my father with my mouth he it is who constraineth the handmaid the wife of seb and before him are bowed all heads and there is fear of him hymns of praise are repeated for me by reason of my mighty acts and i am decreed to be the divine heir of seb the lord of the earth and to be the protector therein the god seb refresheth me 
and he maketh his risings to be mine those who dwell in anu bow down their heads unto me for i am their lord and i am their bull i am more powerful than the lord of time and i shall enjoy the pleasures of love and shall gain the mastery over millions of years chapter eighty three vignette a benu bird text the chapter of making the transformation into a benu bird the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i came into being from unformed matter i came into existence like the god capera i have germinated like the things which germinate that is plants and i have dressed myself like the tortoise i am of the germs of every god i am yesterday of the four quarters of the world and of those seven urii which came into existence in amentet that is to say horus who emitteth light from his divine body he is the god who fought against suti but the god thoth cometh between them through the judgment of him that dwelleth in sekhem and of the souls who are in anu and there is a stream between them i have come by day and i have risen in the footsteps of the gods i am the god kensu who driveth back all that oppose him rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall come forth pure by day after his death and he shall perform whatsoever transformations his heart desireth he shall be in the following of unnefer and he shall be satisfied with the food of osiris and with sepulchral meals he shall see the disc he shall be in good case upon earth before ra and he shall be triumphant before osiris and no evil thing whatsoever shall have dominion over him for ever and ever chapter eighty four vignette a heron text the chapter of making the transformation into a heron the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i have gotten dominion over the beasts that are brought for sacrifice with the knives which are held at their heads and at their hair and at their hail aged ones hail khus who are provided with the opportunity the chancellor-in-chief the overseer of the palace new triumphant is upon the earth and what he hath slaughtered is in heaven and what he hath slaughtered is in heaven and he is upon the earth behold i am strong and i work mighty deeds to the very heights of heaven i have made myself pure and i make the breadth of heaven a place for my footsteps as i go into the cities of alkert i advance and i go forward into the city of unu hermopolis i have set the gods upon their paths and i have roused up the exalted ones who dwell in their shrines do i not know nu do i not know tatunin do i not know the beings of the colour of fire who thrust forward their horns do i not know every being having incantations unto whose words i listen i am the samam bull for slaughter which is written down in the books the gods crying out say let your faces be gracious to him that cometh onward the light is beyond your knowledge and ye cannot fetter it and times and seasons are in my body i do not utter words to the god hue i do not utter words of wickedness instead of words of right and truth and each day right and truth come upon my eyebrows at night taketh place the festival of him that is dead the aged one who is in ward in the earth chapter eighty five vignette a soul text the chapter of making the transformation into a living soul and of not entering into the chamber of torture whosoever knoweth it shall not see corruption the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am the divine soul of ra proceeding from the god nu that divine soul which is god i am the creator of the divine food and that which is an abomination unto me is sin whereon i look not i proclaim right and truth and i live therein i am the divine food which is not corrupted in my name of soul i gave birth unto myself together with nu in my name of capera in whom i come into being day by day i am the lord of light and that which is an abomination unto me is death let me not go into the chamber of torture which is in the tuat underworld i ascribe honour unto osiris and i make to be at peace the hearts of those beings who dwell among the divine things which i love 
they cause the fear of me to abound and they create awe of me in those beings who dwell in their divine territories behold i am exalted upon my standard and upon my seat and upon the throne which is adjudged to me i am the god new and the workers of iniquity shall not destroy me i am the first-born god of primeval matter that is to say the divine soul even the souls of the gods of everlastingness and my body is eternity my form is everlastingness and is the lord of years and the prince of eternity i am the creator of the darkness who maketh his habitation in the uttermost parts of the sky which i love and i arrive at the confines thereof i advance upon my feet i become master of my vine i sail over the sky which formeth the division betwixt heaven and earth i destroy the hidden worms that travel nigh unto my footsteps which are towards the lord of the two hands and arms my soul is the soul of the souls of everlastingness and my body is eternity i am the divine exalted being who is the lord of the land of tabu i am the boy in the city and the young man in the plain is my name he that never suffereth corruption is my name i am the soul the creator of the god new who maketh his habitation in the underworld my place of incubation is unseen and my egg is not cracked i have done away with all my iniquity and i shall see my divine father the lord of eventide whose body dwelleth in anu i travel to the god of night who dwelleth with the god of light by the western region of the ibis thoth chapter eighty six vignette a swallow perched upon a conical object text the chapter of making the transformation into a swallow the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am a swallow i am a swallow i am the scorpion the daughter of ra hail ye gods whose scent is sweet hail ye gods whose scent is sweet hail flame which cometh forth from the horizon hail thou who art in the city i have brought the warden of his bite therein o stretch out unto me thy hand so that i may be able to pass my days in the pool of double fire and let me advance with my message for i have come with words to tell o open thou the doors to me and i will declare the things which have been seen by me horus hath become the divine prince of the boat of the sun and unto him hath been given the throne of his divine father osiris and set that son of nut lieth under the fetters which he had made for me i have made a computation of what is in the city of sekhem i have stretched out both my hands and arms at the word of osiris i have passed on to judgment and i have come that i may speak grant that i may pass on and declare my tidings i enter in i am judged and i come forth worthy at the gate of nebberture i am pure at the great place of the passage of souls i have done away with my sins i have put away mine offences and i have destroyed the evil which appertained unto my members upon earth hail ye divine beings who guard the doors make ye for me a way for behold i am like unto you i have come forth by day i have journeyed on on my legs i have gained the master over my footsteps before the god of light i know the hidden ways and the doors of the seket aaru verily i even i have come i have overthrown mine enemies upon earth and yet my perishable body is in the grave rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall come forth by day he shall not be turned back at any gate in the underworld and he shall make his transformation into a swallow regularly and continually chapter eighty seven vignette the serpent sata with human legs text the chapter of making the transformation into the serpent sata the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am the serpent sata whose years are many i die and i am born again each day i am the serpent sata which dwelleth in the uttermost parts of the earth i die and i am born again and i renew myself and i grow young each day chapter eighty eight vignette a crocodile upon a pylon or gateway text the chapter of making the transformation into a crocodile the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am the divine crocodile which dwelleth in his terror i am the divine crocodile and i seize my prey like a ravening beast i am the great and mighty fish which is in the city of Kemur. i am the lord to whom bowing and prostrations are made in the city of sekhem 
chapter eighty nine vignette the mummy of the deceased lying upon a bier above is his soul in the form of a human-headed bird holding shen the emblem of eternity in its claws text the chapter of causing the soul to be united to its body in the underworld the osiris ani triumphant saith hail thou god an eu that is bringer hail thou god Peirer, that is runner who dwellest in thy hall hail great god grant thou that my soul may come unto me from wheresoever it may be if it would tarry then let my soul be brought unto me from wheresoever it may be for thou shalt find the eye of horus standing by thee like unto those beings who are like unto osiris and who never lie down in death let not the osiris ani triumphant lie down in death among those who lie down in anu the land wherein souls are joined unto their bodies even in thousands let me have possession of my ba soul and of my ku and let me triumph therewith in every place wheresoever it may be observe these things which i speak for it hath staves with it observe then o ye divine guardians of heaven my soul wheresoever it may be if it would tarry do thou make my soul look upon my body for thou shalt find the eye of horus standing by thee like those beings who are like unto osiris hail ye gods who tow along the boat of the lord of millions of years who bring it above the underworld and who make it to travel over nut who make souls to enter into their spiritual bodies whose hands are filled with your ropes and who clutch your weapons tight destroy ye the enemy thus shall the boat of the sun be glad and the great god shall set out on his journey in peace and behold grant ye that the soul of osiris ani triumphant may come forth before the gods and that it may be triumphant along with you in the eastern part of the sky to follow unto the place where it was yesterday and that it may have peace peace and amentet may it look upon its material body may it rest upon its spiritual body and may its body neither perish nor suffer corruption for ever rubric these words are to be said over a soul of gold inlaid with precious stones and placed on the breast of osiris chapter ninety vignette a jackal walking towards the funeral mountain or the deceased standing upright in the presence of the god thoth who is about to give unto him a roll of papyrus text the chapter of driving evil recollections from the mouth the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief amenhetep triumphant saith hail thou that cuttest off heads and slittest brows thou being who puttest away the memory of evil things from the mouth of the khus by means of the incantations which they have within them look not upon me with the same eyes with which thou lookest upon them go thou round about on thy legs and let thy face be turned behind thee so that thou mayest be able to see the divine slaughterers of the god shu who are coming up behind thee to cut off thy head and to slit thy brow by reason of the message of violence sent by thy lord and to see that which thou sayest work thou for me so that the memory of evil things shall dart from my mouth let not my head be cut off let not my brow be slit and let not my mouth be shut fast by reason of the incantations which thou hast within thee according to that which thou doest for the coups through the incantations which they have within themselves get thee back and depart at the sound of the two speeches which the goddess isis uttered when thou didst come to cast the recollection of evil things into the mouth of osiris by the will of suti his enemy saying let thy face be towards thy privy parts and look upon that face which cometh forth from the flame of the eye of horus against thee from within the eye of tem and the calamity of that night which shall consume thee and osiris went back for the abomination of thee was in him and thou didst go back for the abomination of him is in thee i have gone back for the abomination of thee is in me and thou shalt go back for the abomination of me is in thee thou wouldst come unto me but i say that thou shalt not advance to me so that i come to an end and i say then to the divine slaughterers of the god shu depart 
End of chapters 81 through 90.